Hello again, it's Richard Suertudo with The Paper Eye, continuing our series on mid-20th century 1960s underground artists. Here we have a book, the first and only book, written by the famous Bob Dylan. In 1965, Dylan penned this, this novel, or it's, it's sort of like a novelette. It's similar to the writings of Kerouac and Ginsburg Burroughs and, and those guys. It's an interesting book. It, it, it's sort of hard to follow in places, but you got to give the guy credit. You know, it shows he's got his artistic chops. Um, he had hoped to edit it in 1966 and publish it. A few copies went out and then it was pirated, but he had a serious, if any of you know Dylan's history, he had a very serious motorcycle accident right around that time and he was unable to edit and finish the book. So it was published in 1971 by Macmillan and Scribner's. And, and that's really about all I can say about it. He was lambasted a bit in the press in the 2000 era about it having some unintelligible sentences in it. But you know, from the 1960s, who didn't write some unintelligible sentences, okay? So this is Bob Dylan's Tarantula from 1971. Thanks.